Welcome back to more Surviving Mars, my friends. It has been moving day. I've been shuffling everyone from our barrel domes in the central original area over to new leads. So we're actually crammed with 105 people, and we have space for 162, and I think math is hard, but I think that leaves us 57 open slots, and we're just shy of that. But I think if we go ahead and kill this dome off, 8 tomb 1, or Adam 1, I think we should. Yeah, somebody should be able to move to either Abira 1 or the Curie Trigon or a Congo 1. So I believe it's finally time to get everybody moving in the last barrel dome that we originally set up. This is We're saying goodbye to history here. Uh, we are kicking history to the curb and making way for newer, better, more exciting things. Let's also tear, uh, tear down. Hang on. Uh, I don't want to screw anything up. You're all connected in here fine. You're not providing Sector power, so scanned. let's kill the passage here. And then we're going to kill this dome. Again, all I'm doing is, is pretty much, I, I wonder, will they transfer power if I just turn it off? Power should flow through the domes, right? Domes without life support, that's fine. Those are domes that are not connected anymore. That is okay. I'm trying to just save on a couple of uh, life support items here. So if I turn all these off, it should stop the drain... Right? Shouldn't it stop the drain? You're turned back off again. You should be turned off. Well, I'll wait till people are actually out of there uh, before I turn that. Are we? Uh, do we lose a water thing? We did. You need um, machine parts, which you have. So your drones are just slow. That's fair. All right, so you'll be uh, done here in just a minute. Our other water thing is almost done. It needs one more machine part on this end. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? Our Curie Trigon is rocking out with... How many people were, were there? 65? Uh, we have 100... Unemployed in one homeless person. Well, you should find a spot somewhere. I mean, there there is housing. Um, I, I guess maybe they'll just have to wait a second. I, I don't know why they're unemployment or sorry, they're uh, they're they're homeless. We do have a full group at the Hawking Institute, so we are pumping out quite a bit of research. Now, it's not all 100% scientists, mostly because we were losing people to you know homesick or earth sickness versus people I'm sure retiring. So we will have to probably put a university down again. Once we get things all settled and make sure that everyone is kind of moving back into their original uh, jobs, right? We want to we want to make sure we're keeping up the uh, keeping up the pace of all the required jobs. So, new leads is rocking. Um, not quite up to speed on services yet. We are getting there slowly but surely. Our drones are kind of overloaded, and we've got how many drones here? Nineteen drones, and they still have a heavy workflow. So these guys are trying to work their best. Um, they're yeah, they're pretty much trying to do everything around this entire area. If I do wind up taking these barrel domes away, I will have to extend our power network here, or the, uh, what you call this, life support. So we're going to have drone coverage all the way out here. So let's put down some new piping. I won't quite kill the barrel domes just yet. I do want to wait a little bit until everything's nice and smooth. But eventually, I'd like to have my life support line pretty much running this way. I, I do hate sometimes how the life support stuff looks. It, it does look rather ugly, right? I mean, look, unless it could be all straight lines everywhere, and, and maybe one day I will be so OCD that I will absolutely kill this entire arch just to make room for my perfectly straight pipelines, but for the moment I will be okay. Uh, you're about ready to go home. You only have 11 uh, of our rare metal. You know what? That's fine. Just go ahead and head out. In fact, let's send an empty cargo rocket to pick more stuff up. We'll just send it on its way right now for funsies. Uh, carbonate processor, you are almost finished. Well, actually you have a lot of concrete left to go, but you're okay. We've got tons of concrete sitting right here. So mostly we're wasting, uh, we're waiting on the drones to finish up what they were doing. So you are quite busy. I did just kind of start killing all of my storage, or I'm getting to the point of killing my storage. So uh, we will be starting to shuffle things over to the larger automated storage areas, which can store 4,000 of everything that's going to be down the road. Oh, yeah. How exciting. Uh, is everyone out of this dome? We still have seven people. So I'm guessing they're waiting for pickup. So I'll check back on that in just a bit. I want to make sure I don't turn off life support to them, but they're just going to sit here bored and sad and lonely in a, uh, a torn down rustic looking dome. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. How's our shuttle load? Medium overall? That's not too bad. I, I want to make sure I keep the shuttles nice and happy. Uh, we are finally finished with the make with make make really no we're gonna say uh bait, if we're going with make make let's go with uh oh you can change the art style after you build it holy crap you guys look at that that's kind of awesome i really never even showed anyone the different art styles to the buildings so we have all these different architectural styles uh that you could have I, you know i kind of like this dome i know that this is nice and clear but to me it would make sense to have 
and, and honestly, this would probably be the most realistic dome. You know, supporting lattices everywhere, but I kind of like the look of this one. It makes me feel like it's actually reinforced, and it's strong enough to withstand an impact. So we'll, we'll change the, the, the style around, uh, but instead of Make Make, uh, we're going to call this one Baby Make. Yeah, this is Baby Make 1. Uh, Baby Make Alpha. Lovely. This is where the babies are going to go get made. Hooray, hooray. We really need to probably put a loop. A loop? Yeah. A um, Humpty Dump over the uh, over the tunnel here. Can I even fit it anywhere? Wow, really? Everything has a blocking object. Um, Really? Is this going to be in the way in the, in the entire area? Shoot. Are you, my new drone hub commander, are you going to be taking over this entire zone? No, you're only going to be out to this far. So this is actually going to be our final drone hub. And I don't really want to move it. Should I kill the tunnel and start over? Or make it kind of kink back a different angle? That's that's mildly annoying that I did that. Um, I mean, by and large, the drones should be able... Okay, they're going to have to go all the way down here, though, to get into new lead. That is going to be mightily distracting. Uh, let's try this. Let me adjust the passage a bit. It's not quite ready yet. Let's let's nuke it. Sorry about that. Uh, let's do... Can come over here. And if that's right there... Okay, that's going to be fine. So we'll have this little archway. Only th this lets your drones and whatnot pass over the passage. Otherwise, it's too big. So that's fine. Um, so you're going to be fine. Baby make, uh, Baby make Alpha is getting ready to go. Um, it was pointed out that it probably would have been a better idea to put the baby making dome much closer to the vista that's underneath our polymer factory, and that would have given us yet more comfort. But I think, honestly, by and large, our comfort level is always pretty high, so we should be able to have a lot of berth. And with all the medical facilities, services we're going to be putting in here, we're going to try to make this dome as happy as humanly possible. So nothing but the babies. Now, I, I was thinking it is possible to put a dome, say, in this area... Like a much smaller one, like a basic dome, could fit right here. Now, I don't know. I don't know if that's... You know, by the way, do we... I'm trying to think of... In terms of filtering your domes, are we going to need to say, hey, whenever a child comes out, don't stay here? Can I filter out children? So in theory, if a child is born and we have no children allowed, would that basically kick that family out of the dome and make room for another baby-making family? That seems like it would. It's pretty rough. Like, hey, congratulations on your baby. You have to move right the hell now. Uh, we have a strict no baby policy in the baby making dome. So maybe that could be a thing. I, I guess we could test it out and, and see if that's really the option or the way to go. Uh, but I, I honestly think we're going to be okay with just our comfort level where it's at. So again, baby making dome. This is going to be our service dome. And finally, once these are all nice and empty, are, the, are these actually all nice and empty? They are. All of our domes are dead. Hooray. They're all done. Um, once these are all killed, I will pretty much delete everything in this area and kind of readjust most of the pieces. And then we'll probably throw down another mega dome in this general area at some point, right? Because it's going to be nice and connected to our original mega dome, our OG mega dome, and the services dome. So that'll spread the population out between two mega domes, allow for a lot of growth in this area. And then we can start thinking about at that point, we should really have a really good production in terms of our polymer factory. Um, the electronics, everything like that, and we should have double of all of those, and finally be up to par. But we're, you know, we're still struggling a wee bit, just a wee bit. But let me go ahead and do a couple things here. Like, for example, I want to delete uh, my extra power, my excess power pr uh, producers. Really, you gonna fight me on that? We have 273 power at night. We have like 100 during the day. So I'm gonna kill um, just a couple of these. That should be r roughly good. That's about 100 power right there. Ooh, that might have been a little bit more than I thought. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. We have three shifts here. 166 power. I might have gone a bit too ham with that. But if nothing else, I will be able to build another one at some point more. relatively soon too. So I can have even more per uh, people working there. We have 33 jobs or, or 33 people who are looking for employment. Granted, we don't have all of our service buildings down yet. But even with all of those down, there are still going to be some gaps here and there. So we'll have to start filling those as they come up. Machine parts factory, what are you grumpy about? You don't have any metals? Really? Uh, is this because... Are we out of metal? Oh, we pretty much are out of metal. Crap. Well, then we really need to get this part, this part of the metal dome, or the metal extraction, back up and running. 
That'll be a lot easier once we have people start moving in here. And then even parents have to work. So we'll be shuffling people in and out of this dome, but at least they will continue to uh, do work for us. And that's only like eight people or 12 if we push it to a night shift. Although I think we'd have to micromanage the people who work there at night and look for people who are completely fine with that. Um, so we're going to try to look for places that have really good comfort, right? This is um, living space. I think I want a smart home. No, this recovers additional sanity. Additional sanity. Uh, fast comfort faster compared to other residences. Less comfort. So I think the living complexes might be what we look what we're looking for in housing. Okay, so let's put down some living uh, complexes here. I will have to run the numbers down the road and figure out how many uh, exactly we're going to need. But I think this is okay for the moment. This is going to be 24 or so. We'll need more than that. Let's go with the full quadrant here. And we'll start throwing down some farms. Mostly because, well, food, sure. But also, uh, it gives us that wonderful boost. We will be putting down the medical dome here. Because that's going to be very important for the comfort, right? This is going to be giving us additional comfort. Um, lower, I think it doesn't also, yeah, lowers the minimum comfort requirement for birth. So very, very important that we maximize comfort in this dome. Right, we'll let those uh, drones work on this for a bit. I also almost forgot to put down my passage, so let me get that real quick before I forget. Wonderful. Uh, USA, don't care about that. Domes without life support. Wait, where did I see domes without life support? That might have been you. Yeah, this was this one because I cut it off. Let's go ahead and trash Makuru1. Thank you for being my friend, Makuru. Are you the first dome? Was this the first dome or was it this one? I honestly don't remember. I think it was this dome. This is a bit of a hot mess back in the day. Yeah, I, I seem to recall this one and this one first, and I built all three of these around this dome. Poor Makuru one. You will not be forgotten. Just kidding, you totally are going to get turned to Martian ash. Uh, meanwhile, how are you guys doing over here? Look at that lovely sanity and comfort level. That's really, really high for us. Normally in the green on comfort is really impressive. Morale's not too good though. Let's check out a couple of random folks here. You're pretty happy. What about you, Mr. Lander? You have as healthy as a bull, one with the universe. Lovely. Uh, well, I don't... Maybe it's just a couple people who are low sanity down here, or low morale. 67. Maybe come renegades. How can we improve morale? Are you just grumpy because you don't have a house? No functional... What do you mean no functional residence? Why don't we have one more house? For, oh, we actually are over capacity in this dome by one. Okay, that's fine. We'll just throw down yet another living complex, just just for overflow. We're still at uh, at a pretty good spot, although I imagine we're we're more than likely getting close to the limit of our service industry area. Actually, can I tell that? Let's look here. Um, service is not working. Service buildings are full, playing and relax uh, relaxation. So the playground is has been full. Okay, that's, they use that for plane. That's the only thing I believe that gives them the plane service. So let's put down um, two of these. We'll put down two. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's make this the playground corner. Once these are up, I'll kill this and put something else in the way. So that should take care of playgrounds. We also, maybe we should have a, ch a child dome. Oh, that's true. Maybe all the children should go to one particular dome down the road. And that way we can focus on having a school. We can focus on having playgrounds. Uh, you also want... What else would we put down there? A nursery? Uh, wait, this provides living space for children? Really? Not at the house? Interesting. But yeah, we could put down um, specific things just for kids to keep them happy. So the everyone who wants to play, things like that, uh, that would be very important. So it's also... We also have relaxation and shopping. Relaxation should be the space bar. So let's put down another space bar. I know we're starting to infringe on the Hawking Institute space, but really I think we're only going to get maximum of two Hawking universities or Hawking, whatever this thing is, institutes in this dome in terms of how many people we're trying to support. Well, God, it's hard. We could have branching domes again. Down, and we're not, don't worry. I know I'm talking about more and more and more. This is more mostly for planning down the road, right? We're still focusing on our short-term goal, um, but we could have residential domes sprouting off of the Mega Trigon in order for people to work inside the Hawking Institute. And that probably would be the smartest thing because the Hawking Institute is getting a massive, massive research boost down the road. Fair. That's fine. That will take uh, that will take place down the road naturally over time. That's wonderful. Uh, our metals extractor. Oh, wow. How the hell are you working? What the hell? You guys are going ham research to get to this complete. metal extractor. That's awesome. I mean, more power to you, I guess. 
Uh, I think people are going to start working in baby making alpha uh, or baby make alpha as soon as possible. So I guess we'll just let them do that. Uh, we want to probably put down at least the basic services here, right? We want to have, and until I'm able to get my school, or sorry, my my ch my children or my child dome, I'm going to put down the the uh, the basic stuff here for kids. I'll make a kid focused dome for a bit. We are going to have a lot of children in this dome, I imagine. So we'll put down that. We'll put down the basic stuff for the adults as well. The gym, um, the sp uh, yeah, we want a space bar too, and the diner for the moment okay that's all in place i'll come back to refine this later on but right now i just want to get it out the door uh factory ai what were you i don't recall what the heck factory ai was what did you do what were you why were you important honest to god i don't remember which was which uh refineries and factories oh this will, if we enable it, will it'll, uh, update or upgrade all of our factory's performance by 20%. It's going to cost five electronics and two polymers. And surprisingly, we actually have a lot of electronics, but our uh, our metal, uh, what do you call that? Sorry, machine parts are quite down because we are out of metal. Yeah, that's a big problem for us. So we've been really struggling with metal, but hopefully our lovely friends here at the Metals Extractor will help us out. And I could do this. I could put down a small metals depot just outside set this to zero, and then set it over here whenever we get our metal storage built. I'll set that to like a hot 300 or something like that, and we should always be able to transport stuff. Honestly, uh, the smarter thing to do would probably be like this, put metals down here as well, so that our um, our big our big drones can help out. There's, the big shuttles can come down here and pick up metal and move them back home. Lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. We are rocking it. Um, I probably want to put down... Oh, wow, all of our concrete's gone. It's probably been put all into the carbonate processor yet, yeah, pretty much. So we're a little bit tighter there. Let's. Yep, we are. We do have a full metals depot, uh, depot request. Cool. Cool stuff. Uh, meanwhile, the Founder Dome... The Thunder Dome, that's right. <laughs> I thought this was the Founder Dome. The Thunder Dome can go ahead and be uh, demolished. We'll, we'll grab some spare parts from this. Uh, as we demolish things, we will be getting stuff back. Oh, I hate to lose my statues. I'll probably rebuild those down the road. We're, we're looking good. We're looking better. My power is even okay, even after I killed a crap ton of my poor friends, my poor Sterling Gens. Uh, we are out of Funding power received. here. Oh, I guess these are destroyed. They're no longer giving us transferring power. So let me quickly do this. Let me just connect the power cable to you. Temporarily, this should put you back on the map. Um, rocket landing site. Our rocket from home is ready to go. Who has the most rare metals? I think it's back over where... We were, yes. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's put you down over here. Lovely. You know, the the other thing I, I missed way back in the day, we have my lovely shortage. forest station. Oh, God, why are we starving? Who's starving where? Oh, we have a starvation problem. Right. So why are we in such bad shape with food? Are you guys coming to take food from outside? Visiting resources. Oh my god, they're all coming outside to eat. I feel horrible. Oh, we don't have a, we don't have any food buildings in here. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, um, can we please get the diners up and running? <laughs> like yesterday. Oh my god, that's so sad. Uh, we have no concrete and no metal here. A little bit of concrete, but not a lot of metal. Oof and oof. All right, so that's fine. We'll, we'll they'll be delivering goods to that. And we'll, we'll make it a high priority. That should be fixed. And it looks like anyone who needs food is coming outside to get it. Oh my god, that's funny. Does that piss you off? Had an unprepared meal. No service building. We can't have that go on for too long. But they're not going to starve to death. They're going to come out, I hope, and get their food. Yeah, oops. Massive, massive oops on that one. Right, so before that nightmare was done, um, what else were we talking about? So... We're going to have those done. The infirmary's coming up soon. The farms are going to be stuck on soybeans for a while because we have to improve the soil quality. Honestly, I'm a little concerned because I, I probably shouldn't have kicked it off all these other farms. But we have a huge stockpile right now, so I think we're going to be okay in the long term. And we have our lovely fungal farm, which we could do automation. Oh, that decreases the workplace uh, workspaces by two. It would free up some botanists, though. Although at this point, actually, yeah, all of our farms are full, which is kind of cool. So we'll take that. Um, right, what I was going to say before I got distracted by people starving, our forestation plant, because of our background, the forestation, let me take a look where it went. Um, forestation plants do not require power. I must have missed this back in the day. 
because I was super obsessed about putting these near power. I don't have to. All I need to do is put them in range of a drone hub. So I'm going to start going a little bit more ham on these guys than I did before. I want to start spreading our Martian seed, as disgusting as that sounded, uh, out into the universe. So actually, you don't need to, you don't really want to duplicate those. There we go. We're going to spread these bad boys out a lot. And I want to start putting these down, and uh, the farm is acting as one too, right? No, actually, that's the one I just put down. So we'll put you somewhere like up here. Even though the, maybe you're getting pollution from the, the bicarbonate processor. I don't know. We just want to have some, some greenies in Mars, right? So we'll put one down here. And we'll put down one down over here as well. That's a lot. I know it's going to be a lot of uh, electronics and a lot of metals. That's going to get taken up over time. We have a lot of seeds, though, spread around. So thankfully, let's just say I always want to have 30 seeds here. And I want to have 30 seeds here. So hopefully, we're going to have the seeds spread around a lot. It is my, it is my hope. Oh, you stupid renegades. Why are you stealing metal? You, you could just go to the storage site and ask for it. I don't, I don't, we don't have security or anything. All right, let's put down a seed depot and say we want about 20 here or 15 here or so, just to cover the one that's up to uh, the north here. So, looking good. So I think what I'll do for a bit, since we're, we're quasi-stable, not everyone is in the happiest place they've ever been, but we are starting to get way more organized than we have been. So right now I've got a lot of things that need to go get built or get done so I'm going to let the we drones work for change. a little bit. Yeah, I know. We're short on food. Don't yell at me. Um, we're going to let the po folks work for a bit. No, the drones, rather. Not the folks, but the folks and the drones work for um, getting the you know buildings up, getting the food delivered, getting all these things built that I need to have built, and we will be in a much better place. Oh, holy crap. Without me even paying attention, um, our carbon processor is online and running, which is great. So we are making 0.4 atmosphere per, per soul. How much are we losing? Wait, we don't lose anything? Maybe at a certain point, improving atmosphere decreases online. the severity of dust storms. Yeah, that we got that part. Um, more Earth-like, the atmosphere pressure. The, uh, maybe at a higher pressure, uh, a higher atmosphere level, that's when we're going to ha start having problems with the loss of atmosphere. So a as there's more pressure, the fact that we don't have any kind of magnetic shielding, it starts to escape more and more. But right now we're doing pretty well. There's no actual loss of atmosphere yet. But hey, whatever works. Uh, we are <laughs> we're starting it out, and we're finally able to get some of that terraforming done. I'm so excited. This took it's taken forever to finish up. Uh, meanwhile, we are God, we are desperately trying to keep up with all of our needs, our electronics needs. My electronics are going down like crazy because I am putting a lot of them into things like the forestation plants. And, you know, items like that. So my four station plants are actually pretty much ready. I do have a shuttle landing with a bunch of metals on it. And one going back to Earth with a full payload of rare metals. So we're staying on top of extraction and sending goods home. Uh, a couple of concrete extractors have gone down. But I'm able to, we still have concrete coming in from other sources. So for the moment, we're okay. Obviously, my big concerns are my food production was a big one. So food is slowly but surely... Are you at 100%? Yes. So you're getting, you're back to a normal farm. Uh, you're still at 60. You're now at 80. So the next rotation for you, uh, we'll put you on the rotation for soybeans and then wheat and then potatoes. Uh, so that'll be lovely because potatoes equals a bigger harvest. We do have the lovely outside fungal farm ready to go. And, 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 you know, in a pinch, we could always trade some of our concrete for more food if we need to. We have a pretty decent stockpile right now. So that's what I, my big focus was on. Why don't we... I guess we're taking these slowly but surely. I suppose I could also have my transporter help me out moving the food from here to over there. Um, mega storage would just inc or unlock. What was mega storage? Was that an increase of... What was mega storage? Where did you go? Uh, it must have been in the engineering tree. Oh, wow. Space elevator. Exports rare metals to Earth and offers resupply materials and prefabs at preferential pri uh, prices. This must be... Oh, this is a wonder. Very cool. I have, have not seen wonders yet in any of my playthroughs. I've really not gotten that far to see them. This is so cool. Uh, 400 concrete, 200 metal, 150 polymer, 150 machine parts. Not impossible to get either. And that would be cool that it's a constant export back to Earth, but I do believe the more important technology to look at is deep metal extraction so we can start getting to some of our deeper areas. Also... We're almost done exploring the rest of the map. I'm going to let the overall scanner complete all of this first, and then I'm going to rescan my central area to see what kind of goodies we might have here. So that is exciting to see. 
Uh, you did, in fact, trash one of my little things here, but that's okay. We won't judge you too harshly for that, oh, meteor of death. We're missing a little bit of metal for the Martian U. Spacebar needs metal. God, everything pretty much needs metal at this point. I could bring another shipment of people here. I do have a couple of spare homes in the uh, in the Baby Make Alpha. I don't really have jobs for anyone, but I could bring them here. We also could resume production of our medium dome, but I'm a little bit concerned about my lack of concrete. We, we used to have a lot of concrete extraction, but I'm losing some of my old areas, right? So here we've got 500, 600 left here, 300 left at that deposit. These two deposits, or this one deposit that was used by both, is now gone. You are a... Oh, this is a very high quality concrete deposit. Then I might go ahead and put down two extractors here to work in tandem. And these will be my bad boys up to the northwest. Yeah, that's what we'll do here so we can get back on production with... Uh, or get back on track with concrete. Because I'm using that not only as my builder, but also as my main export to everyone else. That's how we get a lot of polymers and whatnot imported into our place. So I will get that taken care of. I, I think as soon as I can, I'm going to get this line up, demolish this area, clean it up a bit, and maybe put down that other Mega Trigon production or that other Mega mega Trigon, Mega Trigon, sorry, Mega Dome project. Um, real quick, how much did that cost again? I don't quite remember the numbers. 300 concrete, 200 metal, 100 polymer. Polymer's okay. Concrete might be a bit of a challenge. Metals is going to be hard, straight up difficult. So I'm going to have to figure out a better way to get that project done. I guess with the help of these, concrete's going to pick up, and then polymers are going to pick up. I wonder if we could start trading for metal. and Because normally I trade concrete for polymer. Maybe we could trade concrete for metal instead. Or we start pumping out the amplify and the extraction on both of these down here. Are you guys pretty much full still? Sector You're scan. high quality. I'll go ahead and just upgrade you with the magnetic extraction to try to speed things up for this metals extractor. I don't want these folks working outside. They're going to be a little bit pissed off. Still 13 people could use a job here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's put down another metals extractor. We're going to probably wipe out this, de uh, this deposit sooner rather than later, but uh, by and large, I don't want this dome here for much longer. So if I can get people to come here and you know quickly extract it i'm hoping by the time this deposit is dead we'll be able to relocate those people to somewhere else that is my thought process so we'll put that down and then we'll upgrade it and have even more super metal power uh how good were, was this deposit low quality so that's going to go relatively quick as well we don't have anything up here yet that we know about but we are soon going to be having uh going to have access to the deep metal extraction technology so hopefully we'll have some other deep metal deposit right in our neighborhood Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, we finally got one of our forestation plants down. You require a bunch of seeds, which we do have somewhere. They're all kind of spread out right now. So we'll get those squared away, and I am super excited. We are we are looking better. I need this section to be finished, and then I'm going to be a much happier camper. All right, so we just discovered a breakthrough technology. This was done because of the uh, exploration of the planet. So... Uh, plutonium synthesis is going to increase power production while opened. I think this is going to be massive for us, so I'm actually going to queue this up. I'm going to remove a couple other things, and we're not going to do we'll take away the deep metals. That's going to be very, very important. I'm going to queue this up first, because it's actually a little bit less technology than I thought I'd have to pay for a breakthrough. Uh, and then we'll re-queue up some of the other items. No, you know what? I actually needed money. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Martian copyrights Resources for a bit down the road. We'll see. I'm, I'm still kind of bouncing back and forth between our different items. Um, we're almost done scanning the entire map. Do we get a bonus for that? No, it's only about terraforming. But, hey, in terms of terraforming, we're doing pretty good. Look at that. 1%, almost 2% 2 atmosphere, 33% temperature, water. We've got more vegetation. Now, vegetation should be really kicking in because I've got all these vegetation plants down. Now, I probably will go through all my plants really fast. Uh, because I don't quite have any more seeds available yet. We don't have any seeds cooking, so to speak. Our explorer um, just got into a pretty oh serious no. accident. The good news is, it's really it. Uh, that was it. So it just happened to get broke. Did so. Oh God, where are you? Way out here. That's mildly annoying. All right, we'll have to go send our RC commander to go do that. But um, I'm a little concerned. I mean, you know, that's that's. I should make that my tagline. For my entire channel. I'm 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 mildly concerned 
<laughs> so we're, we're doing okay, right? We're, we're, we're relatively stable. I'm almost going to be able to kind of reconsolidate this area very, very soon. But I'm not up to where I need to be in materials. And I know part of that is, is here. We've got to have more for the machine. We have to have more machine part factories. Pretty much another set of machine parts. All of our major advanced items would do us uh, well, right? We need more production there. Um, I think we're okay on extraction. And I think we will especially be okay once we get an upgrade. And uh, in terms of the upgrade for uh, the deep metals technology, once we have deep metals and once we scan a pocket of deep metals, I think we're going to be in much better shape. Now, before I do any other building of mega domes down here, I do want to take a look and wait for this area to be scanned, just in case there happens to be a, a deep metal deposit right under our noses. Uh, but overall, I think once we have more deep metals, once we're going to be able to get some of these, and I think the deep deposits are worth more. Look at that. This is about, um, oh, sorry, maybe I lied about that. 2,700, that's it? That, I think that's relatively a relatively high number, isn't it? Uh, 600 here. I guess that's pretty high. The deep metals deposit in this area is relatively good. Um, water, though, you know, I'm always concerned about water. But here's to hoping that we are going to unlock a water technology along with a new, uh, or sorry, the water... Um, what would you call that? The water deposits along with the deep metal deposits as well. So hopefully we'll find those down the road and uh, and be in better shape. Stupid renegades. Why do we have renegades in new leads? What's going on in new leads? Um, missing service build buildings. Not supplied with resources. Okay, that's not too bad. Missing relaxation, really? No, we have relaxation. It might have been that relaxation was too busy. And that goes back to the entire conversation of we still need to put our service dome into play. Uh, but that is going to take some time because I have to wait for all the resources. I also still want to do another mega dome, so I'm a little bit torn. I don't know if I want to go for this medium dome right now or if I want to go for the bigger project uh, once I clear everything out. But we're getting there for sure. And um, I think everyone is relatively happy in the Curie dome. Nothing's really gone... Ooh, I almost said a horrible phrase like nothing's gone wrong. Um, we've been good over here. Things have been good in this general area. People are happy. Kids are happy. Uh, life is happy, you know, we're, we're, we're all nice and dandy up to the northeast. Um, I think I was going to say something about, not that we don't need to trade right now. Oh, uh, the Martian University is back up, and I have everybody training on engineering, because I would love to get a new batch of replacement engineers. We haven't had engineers for a long, long time, and if I can fill up these factories with engineers, it's going to drastically improve the quality of work. So I'm going to focus on that. Also, were there... Is there any technology about making people better at their jobs even if they don't suck? I think we have that. Yeah, colonists without the proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. So that's fine. That's no big deal. Um, security officers and medics have more performance. Uh, do we have anyone that's engineers? I think I might have trained engineers. Scientists and botanists. Engineers and geologists. So we do have the performance upgrade for those geologists and engineers. And those are really our big money makers, I think, in terms of you know keeping us running and the geologists are the ones who's, who are pulling, you know, goods out of the ground. So, uh, praise be to them. Not enough workers. Hang on a minute. What do you mean not enough workers? Did you guys suddenly have... No, we have 19 vacant slots. <gasps> oh, I'm so dumb. Vacant work slots is not the same as unemployment. For some reason, I thought we had unemployment over here. Awkward turtle. Uh, I suppose... Crap, can I even do anything? Can we put out a, a thing here? Is there enough room for a... There is enough room for a spire in here. But I could put an arcology. But that would severely overpopulate this area. I think we need an infirmary unless I put down the medical dome here. Ah, we have... Okay, what's going on here? 24 people. We don't have anyone working on the farm. That's rough. We have people working on the hydroponic farm? No, not even that. So pretty much everyone here is working either in the metals extractor or in the services building. Okay. So what if we say, don't even bother with food whatsoever? Since they're obviously not working on it anyways. Let's put down another living quarter here and see if we can't bring another shipload of people. And then some of them will spread out to a Congo 1, hopefully, and they'll start working at the second metals extractor. Boy, did I misread that label on the uh, on the overview. All right, I've been uh, going pretty long on this episode, so 
I think I'm going to wrap things up. Oh, no, depleted deposits. Um, oh, no, we lost more water. I'm so sad. Uh, we lost another water deposit. Hopefully, I will be getting more water in the, in the form of these vaporators up soon. I'm trying to put vaporators out and about where there are drone commanders uh, or RC hubs or drone hubs, rather, I think is the, the word I was going for. But I'm kind of struggling a bit because there's not a lot of free open space. So, like, for example, here's a, here's a vaporator farm that I had running for a bit. But they've all run out of parts, and they're outside of most of the drone control areas. So we can get there, I think, on just vaporators. And then uh, hopefully we'll get the deep well resources. Do we have any other water wells that are going to run dry here soon? I hope not. Boy, do I hope not. You're, sorry, you're a research site. You just started. You're a great underground deposit there. Who's a great underground deposit? You are. Uh, we have the underground deposit here has run out. You still have quite a ways to go. So I think... The existing water deposits are okay. Yeah. Um, I guess we, you know, we could do... Why don't we just put these along the power line? Would, it, it doesn't hurt anything, right? I don't think it does. It just needs to be when placed near other vaporators. So why don't I... Instead of having these way out in the middle of nowhere, perhaps I should have been putting them like this. Along an existing power line. Well within range of my drone RC drone uh, drone hubs. That's actually probably the best way to do it. Instead of making a field like this, just stretch them across the line. That's going to be a great idea for the next playthrough. And I, I feel bad about not getting that earlier, but this is going to be good for us. We're going to have more water. We have polymer. We're still struggling on metals eternally. But I think I'm about to start doing some amplifications here. And I'm kind of I'm kind of banking on my underground deep metal uh, spot soon. So, thanks so much for your patience, guys. This one has been a little bit crazier of an episode, but I, I believe it's uh, I'm, we're on the right track. I've got people moved into the new Leeds Dome. Our science trigon is nice and happy, except for the fact that I don't have any uh, electronics to repair the Hawking Institute, but that's fine. It has been pumping out science for us. Um, I might have to send a shuttle from home with our grant relatively soon, but that's okay. We shall make it. We shall endure because we are humans, and that's what we do. Oh, hey, you need to land. Aren't you a... Yeah, you're actually the spirit of man one. Uh, you were here, but you were actually out on a breakthrough scanning thing. There's still one more. An unknown outcome. Are these ever lucrative? <sighs> Strange signals detected over time can be traced to this area. I don't... Maybe it's some super secret depot. I'm going to just roll the... It's not too expensive. So we're just going to roll with it. And I'll go ahead and send Resources the spirit of man out and about uh, for that, explore, or that uh, event here soon. We'll send, let's send an empty shuttle from Earth. And we'll send this back home to Earth, Spirit of Man 1, once it's done with its new job. And that, with with those two exports, a full expedition home, should be enough for us to bring a bunch of rare parts here. Or even just basic bare bones metals. Uh, polymers are actually up pretty high for once, which is great. I've been trying to look at the numbers here, uh, between maintenance and usage and stuff like that. So... Our polymer maintenance is through the roof, which really sucks. But again, that's because I, I have put a lot of eggs into the polymer basket with all of the uh, all of the sterling generators I have. So that's a bit rough. Hey, you're not open. Open up. Uh, we also have machine parts is 5.6 to our 11. But electronics is hurting us right now. We aren't using more than we're making. It's just that a lot of things need electronics that need to be built. So that's where we're struggling at right at this moment. So, uh, in the next couple of episodes, I hope to focus on getting my uh, my stockpiles back up, getting people spread out in the domes, and then we'll pick our next big project. Once this line is complete, I will move these domes down, and we'll clear out this whole area. I probably will have to take down the shuttle hub. I hate to do that, but there's no real way to clean this up. I do want to have the advanced storage areas all here, so that everything is nice and consolidated in one particular spot. And then we'll use this for another mega dome. But I'm uh, I'm okay with where we are. You know what? Should this open? Uh, should this farm get back going again soon? The the food production is kind of crappy. That's right. I kind of forgot about that. We could plant. Honestly, I don't think anything's gonna work well here. It does increase the soil quality. Cover crops. Interesting. Significantly increase the local soil quality. This would use a lot of water though is the big problem. That would use 10 water once it comes back online, so that would hurt us quite a bit. But our new vaporator should help out. That's going to be like 1.7 water per vaporator, I think. Yeah, so that's going to help out. Also, I think more water in the air, the better... Oh, hey, what? Terraforming boost? Oh, that is what it is. 
That's why we get 1.7 instead of 1.0. Or how much does hydroscopic give us? Okay, we're getting 0.5 from hydros hygroscopic and 0.2 from our terraforming boost right now. That's well, still pretty cool. So the more moisture in the air, of course, the better your vaporators will do. So that should be a, a, a ever increasing return on our original investment. Awesome. All right. Sorry, I, I like I totally tried to end this episode like 10 minutes ago and I got distracted. Thanks so much, my friends. I appreciate your continued interest in this wonderful playthrough. I will uh, keep the drones working for a bit and I'm going to do a little bit of busy work, but mostly I will wait for you all in the next episode. Until then, take care.